Infectious diseases kill more people worldwide than any other single cause. These diseases are all caused by microorganisms like bacteria, viruses, fungi, or parasites. Lots of these organisms normally live in our bodies and are typically harmless. Under certain conditions, though, they can cause disease. Bacteria are the single-celled organisms that come to mind when you think of an infection. Some examples of bacterial diseases are strep throat, tetanus, and pneumonia. Viruses are even smaller than a single cell. They have to insert themselves into a host cell in order to reproduce. Viruses are the cause of diseases like the common cold, rotavirus, herpes, and HIV AIDS. Fungi typically cause skin diseases like ringworm or athlete's foot, but have also been known to infect the lungs. Malaria is a good example of a disease caused by a parasite. Plasmodia are transmitted to their hosts through mosquito bites. Once inside the bloodstream, they travel to the liver where it reproduces exponentially and begins to infect the host's red blood cells. Infectious diseases can be passed from person to person, from an animal or insect bite, or eating contaminated food or water. Some examples are catching a cold from your coworker or getting malaria from a mosquito bite. Many infectious diseases can now be prevented by being vaccinated. The eradication of smallpox is a great example of that. Other infections can be prevented by something as simple as frequent hand washing. There are a lot of ways you can contract an infectious disease. The easiest way is to come into contact with an infected person or animal. That's an example of direct contact. There are three types of direct contact. Person to person happens when you touch another person and a bacterium or virus is transferred from one person to another. There's a chance that the person carrying the germ doesn't show any symptoms of the disease. That person is called a carrier. Animal to person is another type of direct contact. That happens when you're bitten or scratched by an infected animal. Handling animal waste can be a danger too. You can acquire toxoplasmosis by scooping your cat's litter box. That's why it's said that pregnant women should stay away from cats and litter boxes. That brings us to the third type of direct contact, mother to child. Some germs can pass to the baby from the mother through the placenta, and germs in the vagina can be transmitted during birth. Indirect contact comes from touching an object that's been handled by an infected person. The bacteria or viruses can live outside the body for a limited time and can remain on something like a doorknob until they're able to transfer to the next person. Some germs rely on insect carriers to move from host to host. These include mosquitoes, fleas, and ticks. The carriers are called vectors. Some that you probably already know about are those mosquitoes that carry malaria or ticks that can carry Lyme disease. Another way to get infected is through contaminated food or water. This is the most dangerous mode of transmission since it can affect a large number of people at once. E. coli is a good example. There have been food recalls based on undercooked hamburger and unpasteurized fruit juice. Fortunately, there are some simple steps you can take to protect yourself from infectious diseases. Most germs enter the body through skin contact or injury, inhaling airborne germs, eating contaminated food or water, tick or mosquito bites, or sexual contact. So follow these tips to avoid getting sick. Wash your hands frequently before preparing food, after using the restroom, or after handling animals. Get the recommended vaccinations. Stay home when you're sick. If you're vomiting or have a fever, stay home in case you're contagious. Use good food handling habits. Keep the kitchen clean and keep foods at the correct temperatures. Don't share personal items like a toothbrush or a razor. Also, don't share drinking glasses. And travel smart. Avoid infected regions, and if that's not possible, get the recommended vaccinations before taking your trip. Recognizing what kind of infection you have and knowing what type of organism caused your infection will help determine how to best treat it. Antibiotics are used to treat bacterial infections. There are different types of bacteria and different classes of antibiotics are used to treat them. Unfortunately, antibiotics have been overprescribed when the cause of an infection was unknown. That has led to many strains of bacteria becoming antibiotic resistant. Now researchers are searching for new antibiotics that are effective treatments. Antiviral drugs have been developed to treat some viruses. 
There are now drugs available to treat HIV AIDS, herpes, and hepatitis A and B, and the CDC recommends getting a flu shot every year. Antifungal medications can be used to treat skin or nail infections caused by fungi. Some fungal infections, like those affecting the lungs or mucous membranes, can be treated with an oral antifungal drug. For those with internal organ fungal infections, intravenous antifungal medications are available. For those diseases caused by parasites, special drugs have been developed for specific diseases such as malaria. Sadly, some varieties of parasites have developed drug resistance.